Hello everybody, welcome to That's Football. It's that time of year. It's probably one of the biggest videos we do of the year. My Premier League predictions. What's going to be a banger? What's going to be a clanger? Well, I've been down the pub like last year, so who knows what's going to come out of this mouth. But I tell you what, last year I predicted that Man United would win the Champions League. We weren't even in it at Christmas. So who's going to get the jinx in the Champions League and many others as well? We're going to be doing top eight again, including who's going to win the league. Bottom three, all the cup winners, player of the year, manager of the year, top goal scorer, golden boot and all that jazz. Get ready and get involved yourself. Get in the comments. Let's do it. Premier League predictions on That's Football. So, first of all, boring, boring. I said boring. Man City are going to win the league. I'd love to say something else, but only an idiot says anything else. We have an amazing league, but we've got a juggernaut in it who are unstoppable. But... I'll be coming back to Man City in a bit, but I predict they're going to win the league. I'll bloody love it if someone else wins it, but only a fool will go against it. They've got the best squad, the best manager. They're going for seven and eight or whatever it is. Boring, 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 but City will win the league. Top four, Arsenal, second place. Um, how close they can get to City, I don't know, but um, I think they've made really good progress over the last two years and I think they've sort of solidified themselves in that consistent position of they're not a blip, they are a good team and I think that they will continue to be a good team this season. Unfortunately, I'm going to give a bit of a spoiler alert, I don't think Arsenal will win, will win silverware again. I, I, get me out of the pipe. I don't think they'll win silverware again. Um, silverware, that's hard words. Silverware, they won't win again. Um, which doesn't mean, well, at this point, Arsenal fans, does it make you unsuccessful if you finish second and win no silverware? Man United have won the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup. We've been nowhere near the bloody league. We're nowhere near as good as you, but we got silverware. Is this now becoming a problem for Arsenal that Arteta, to get second and push City so hard, you can't really win silverware because you'll drop off in the league race. There might be something to that. Man City are a juggernaut. Third place, I'm going to go Liverpool. I expect them to have a good season. Watch for more. Um, I think Liverpool with Arnie Slot, I called it weeks ago. I think he's going to slot in perfectly. I think that the what Liverpool have done, and there's a video on this channel about why they'll do really well, is that they brought a manager in to continue the work that Klopp was building. That's why we've not seen wholesale sales or purchases. Um, I think Liverpool will do well, unfortunately. I'm going to put them in as third. And I'm also going to say they could be an outside shout for a title race. Uh, I'm not saying, not saying they're going to win it, but they could be an outside shout to push Man City further than Arsenal. So keep an eye on that. So I think top three is locked down. Fourth place, I'm really conflicted. Um, I, I think for me, I want to put Man United in there. For obvious reasons, Manchester United's my team. I want us to do well. We can't win the Champions League because we're not in it. But if we were, I'd predict it. Um, but don't you? Sh do you think next year I should do this when I've been down the pub? I mean, last year was by chance. This year was by demand. Next year, I just don't know. Um, but look, anyway, I I'll probably... I'm not going to predict Man United are going to win the league. That that would be ridiculous. Um, I, might predict some I might change my mind. Imagine if they won the league and I predicted it. I would be a genius. But then people would say you were pissed. Um, I can't. I can't. Well, even though even though everything in what in me wants to predict Man United are going to win the league just because of how many pints I've had, I can't do it because I won't get any credit for it anyway. So you may as well try and be real. Real. Get real. Get real. Right. Fourth place. It has to be United. We've got to get in the top four this year. I can't be doing with Thursday night football. I've already had to cancel Thursday night five aside again. In the last five years, I've cancelled it about three years. So I've got to, we've got to get top four. But, but, there is a but. And it's not Nicky. And it's not J-Lo or anything else. It is Newcastle. I think Newcastle are being slept on like something they get slept on and not appreciated. You know, they're like a sleeping rabbit ready to jump into action at any given time. Skunk, that's black and white. That means they stink. 
Look, what I'm trying to say is Newcastle really... I've, you know what? I've never met a skunk in real life. And do they actually make a lot? They must do. Can't just be cartoons. It must be real. Anyway, back to the track. Newcastle are a threat. They had a lot of injuries last season. They're not in Europe. And when Eddie Howe gets them going, and he will get them going this year... They will be very consistently good. They've got some fantastic players like Anthony Gordon, Bruno Gamerez, Isaac. As long as Bruno Gamerez is staying, and I think Tonali's coming back soon as well, I think Newcastle will do well this season. And I think they'll be totally focused on top four. And they will be totally focused on that because they've got nothing else to do midweek because not in Europe. Forget your passports, you don't need them. So I think Newcastle could be a push for fourth. But I'm going to go United fourth. I'm going to go Newcastle fifth. Which means sixth is after fifth. Oh, uh, 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 this is, you know what? This is way when you do this, when you react to this in May, I always get nervous at the start of May because I've got to do my Premier League reactions uh, to my predictions. And I think, oh, at the start of the season, why weren't you level-headed? Because you were pissed. But no, seriously, like you, you start getting, you'll, you'll, you'll all do it with your fantasy Premier League or your Super Six if you're in our league. You'll start getting Larry going, oh yeah, I can, I'm telling you. The best thing you can do is just play the percentages and go obvious because you'll be better off at the end of the season. Don't try and be niche and clever because you'll make yourself look a prat. I've been doing this enough years. So I've got Man City winning the league, Arsenal second, Liverpool third, Man United fourth, Newcastle fifth. Sixth, I'm going for Chelsea. So unpredictable. But they have got so many good players. I mean, Chelsea could be 16th or sixth. They could be sacking their manager. They could be, They could go... Oh, who's the first manager that's going to get sacked? That's what I've got to do as well. I've got to predict that. But I'm going to say that Chelsea will get sixth because they can't have another season like last year. So I'm going to go sixth place for Chelsea. Seventh, I'm going to go Spurs. I think being um, in Europe and second season for Ainge, they're a good team, Spurs. They could re They could do really well. But I'm going to go seventh. for. Sp I mean, the, you know, take Man City out of this league and it's a really competitive league. Spurs could, e could easily be fourth. United could be seventh. But I'm going to go Spurs seventh. And Villa, the only reason I'm putting Villa eighth, and look, they'll be happy with this, is because they've got Champions League football and it's going to be really difficult to play Champions League and Premier League games when you've never done that before. So I'm going to put Villa as eighth place. That's what I'm going to do. No one can change that. Forget about it. That's what I'm going to do. So that's my top eight. Right. Relegation. Dead easy. Some people think it's a bottom three. It's actually a bottom four. It will be Ipswich, Leicester, Southampton relegated and Man City because they'll have the 1-1-5. So four going down. Ipswich, Southampton, Leicester, Man City. They'll win the league and then they'll get booted out and Pep's going to leave Bada bing, bada boom. That's what's going to happen. I might be dreaming. I might be dreaming, but that, that's what I want to see happening. Um, I mean, well, I don't want to see any of them teams get relegated, actually. That's very negative. I just think that the gap between the Championship and the Premier League is so big that even if Southampton, Leicester and Ipswich do well, which I think they'll do better than the likes of Burnley and um, Sheffield United last year, but... The Fulhams, the Forests, the Crystal Palaces, the Evertons, they all know how to get 35 points. And 35 points is a really high target for a newly promoted team when, you you know, they, I just don't see it. I, I think they're all going to go straight back down. And I think the Premier League has a problem at the top with Man City. I just looked at my microphone. Um, they have a problem, a bit like an ice cream. Um, they have a bit, they have a problem with Man City at the top. And they also have a problem with the gap in the championship to the Premier League at the bottom. So I'm going to go three up, three down and City. Um, that leads us on to Golden Boot. Boring, boring. I'd love it to be Watkins or Isaac or Rasmus or someone. But it will be Rasmus. Uh, it will be Erling Haaland because it's boring. Um, player of the year. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Player of the year is going to be De Bruyne or Salah. Old school. Eh, 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 freestyler. Bam. Yeah, we're going old school here. I think it's going to be De Bruyne or Salah. And I'm actually going to go Salah because I think if you've done your homework on Liverpool and slot, they're going to score a lot of goals. And also, they get a lot of joy from their wide players running in behind. So I'm going to go Mo Salah. Obviously, injury could mess that up, but I'm going to go Mo Salah, player of the year. Um, manager of the year. 
I think sentimentality, they'll give it to Pep because he's going to retire at the end of the season. So I think they'll give it to Pep. Um, what else? Player of the year, golden boot, manager of the year. I've done that. First manager to get sacked. Oh, that's negative. Well, it's a reality. Someone's getting sacked. I don't know, actually. I, I, think, I think Nuno at Forest will get sacked because he's not very good. And I don't think... I just think he'll be the first to get sacked. Um, a lot of people are going to say Maresca, but I think it will be Nuno at Forest who gets sacked first. Um, if I had to go for second, I still don't think it will be Maresca. I think it will be Arnie Slot. No, I'm joking. No, no. I, I, I think, I think it will be. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I think it'd be Nuno at Forest. That's who I think. Um, FA Cup champions. That, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Carabao Cup. This is a stupid pick. I, I, I shouldn't do this after the pub. This is. I want to change this. Can I change this? I'm not talking to anyone. I, I, I'm terrible at this because I'll always be morally. You wrote that down. You've got to stick with it. Oh, I've got Carabao Cup, Chelsea. And I did this last year. I, I changed my mind and I, I went right. And then I changed my mind and went, was wrong. Um, I'm going to go Carabao Cup, Chelsea. They always seem to take it seriously. They are, they are in Europe, but it's the crap one, the Conference League. So they'll take that seriously. I think they'll take the Domestic Cup seriously. They've got a huge squad. I'm going to go Chelsea, Carabao Cup. FA Cup. I've got City, boring, but, you know, they've been to the last two finals, so I think City in the FA Cup is logical. And then that leaves us with Europe. Right. This is my jinx moment. Last year, when I did the Champions League, I stood up, came back, basically did this. I went, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. Champions League winner, Man United. That's what I did last year, and it was terrible. So whoever I go for, I am probably massively jinxing you. But with all my head, I'm going to predict the Champions League winner and properly predict it. Because at the end of the season, I want to look clever. So it will be Real Madrid or an English club. Ain't no way it's going to be a PSG, a Bayern Munich or an Italian club or anyone like that. So it's going to be Real Madrid or an English club. I know who I'm going to go with. OK, I'm not going to stand up for this one. I'm going to spin the chair and when I come back round, I will tell you who it's going to be. And it's going to be... Oh, I've gone too far. A bit more, a bit more. Now. Liverpool. Liverpool are going to win the Champions League. I don't want them to win it. But Liverpool are going to win the Champions League. That's what I'm going to go for. I always try to... I've never predicted who's going to win the Champions League, and I probably just haven't now. But I always try to go a little bit out of the box. Some people would say, you're going out the bloody postcode. But I'm going to go Liverpool to win the Champions League. Europa League, Manchester United. Yeah, we're going to win a trophy this year. And I've not predicted the Carabao Cup or the FA Cup because we're going continental. We're going European. And we're going to win the Europa League. I think that we will take it seriously because we're in it. Um, I think that we're not going to win the league. Um, and by March, we'll know whether we're going to get top four or not. The Europa League is still a pathway into the Champions League. It's, I believe, having won the Carol Power Cup and the FA Cup, the Europa League is more important because it's something different and it gives us about a, a pathway into the Champions League. So I think the Europa League... Is going to be very important to Manchester United. And I think we're going to win it. And ain't nobody going to stop us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to win the Europa League. And we're going to get top four. And that's going to be a good season for the United boys. Get in there. And the girls. Because I'm talking about the fans. Um, but, you know, I think Man United are going to win the Europa League. Um, that's where I'm going with that. I hope I haven't missed anything out. Uh, I feel like I've probably missed the most glaring prediction out. But, um, yeah, I, I I think that's right. Um, 
yeah. Some easy ones in there, some niche ones in there. Give me your comments on them in there, bottom, below, and also get yours in as well. Um, but yeah, that's where we're going. That's where we're going. Premier League predictions, freestyler, we've done it. Um, am I happy with them? Yeah, I think when you do top eight, uh, this is a new thing in Premier League predictions, and I agree. Top four is too boring. You've got to go top eight because it takes a little bit of piss taking at the end of the season, how wrong you get it. But I, I like doing it at top eight. Relegation is very easy. Let's hope Man City get relegated as well. Um, and look, you know, people will be moaning about that. But if, you've, if you're guilty of 115 things, then you must be relegated. Um, if you're not guilty, then you're going to keep winning the league forever and ever. So I suppose... I just want I just want you to get relegated. But if you're not guilty you can't get relegated, but I mean, come on. There's no, there's no smoke without fire surely. You know, if we're being honest, I I know a couple of Man City fans and they said to me, it's not looking good, Brev. Um they didn't I made that up. Uh, anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Smash a like on the video and subscribe. I'll speak to you on the next one. Get your comments in. I enjoyed that. Take care.